Tonight, dramatic changes to Pittsburgh's weather from a sunny afternoon in the 60s to damaging storms, even a tornado warning around dinner time. And coming next, the season's first snow. Good evening. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Ken Rice. We've had news crews across the region all evening tracking storm damage. These are just a few of the scenes. High winds brought down several trees in the city's east end at the Police and Fire Training Academy and at a home in Shaler. Down trees also closed roads in Moon Township and brought down power lines in Sewickley. Team coverage tonight with First Alert meteorologist Ray Petlin in the Weather Center and Jennifer Barresso and Ricky Sayer in the field. First to Ricky live in Shaler where that tree came down on a house. Ricky. Yeah, we've been crisscrossing the area looking for storm damage. This is some of the most significant that we found. Take a look at this pine tree. It is uprooted. It fell right onto this home and directly onto power lines that go to the home. Now, remarkably, up until just about five minutes ago, the Christmas lights here were still on. The home still has power, and there are people who remain in the home tonight. We don't know about any injuries, and we don't see any significant damage to the home, but that's that may reveal itself when the tree is removed. Neighbors told us they heard a lot of wind. They came outside and saw this. They said they think the tree has been here about 70 years. They told us when the wind came through, the windows were shaking. One neighbor told us there was some damage to the back of their home. Here's what neighbors told us earlier about what this all sounded like. It was all around the house. It was like a swirling wind around the house. It was just, it was, it was just crazy. I, I came into and it wasn't named was. for more than like a minute. It wasn't long lasting. No, it was like really quick through like five minutes, and then it was gone. Enough to prompt me to look outside. Yeah, it was just. We've always worried about that tree coming down. This was nothing, it finally did <laughs> nothing ever that we've ever seen as far as the winds. And this is one of multiple trees that are down in the area, just about five to ten minutes away. We saw another tree that was lying on power lines, and we are sure that when the morning comes and the light comes, that more of this mess that this storm caused will reveal itself. Live in Shaler, Ricky Sayer, KDK TV News. Ricky, thanks. The gusty winds came ahead of a strong cold front. The mild temperatures are gone, and now here's Ray with a preview of what's coming next. Hey, Ray. Yeah, we had that uh, big line come through, Ken, and you can see here uh, a lot of the rain moving into central Pennsylvania, but there's some blues mixing in in the radar data, meaning a transition is trying to occur with that snow. Now, there were a lot of wind damage reports associated with this squall line as it came through. The National Weather Service is going to be surveying that area that fell under the tornado warning earlier this evening uh, for the potential of it being a tornado tomorrow. So we'll get more information coming out as the National Weather Service looks at the damage there. But uh, we still have some gusty wind potential for the ridges as you start to climb up Westmoreland, Fayette's ridges, even into Preston and Garrett counties. Wind gusts could top 50 miles per hour over the next couple of hours. The snow and the coldest of the air is up to the northwest. That is still waiting to move in. So right now, it feels like the mid-30s in Pittsburgh, but the actual temperature is 39, and those temperatures cool off even more up to the north, and that colder air is going to blow in. And with the moisture, that gives us the potential for some snow. And you can see here, overnight, spotty rain showers. Then our temperatures just drop a couple more degrees, and we start to see that snow mixing in tomorrow morning. Scattered snow showers. How much you can expect when all is said and done. Done and what's ahead for the weekend coming up. All right, Ray, and more now on the areas left in the dark after tonight's storms. As of 11 p.m., Duquesne Light reports just under 11,000 customers without power. First Energy says more than 2,000 of its customers have no service right now. KDK's Jennifer Barrasso has been chasing the power crews all night. She's live in Sewickley to see how much progress they're making. Jen. Ken, uh, you can see behind me not much progress. Um, People here still in the dark. I'm on Nevin Avenue. We've had several people come up to our news vehicle. When is the power coming back on? So no word at this point. I caught up with a family a short time ago who just couldn't stay here tonight. The storm rolled in fast. The story here, power outages. We took a drive around through Glen Osborne and met a family of four on Nevin Avenue as they were leaving to go stay with family. They have been without power for hours. 
Yeah, we've got the kids loaded up in the car. We're just going to try to find like a hopefully a warm place, you know, to stay for tonight um, on the other side of town. Um, luckily, we have family that's able to help us out. But yeah, it's definitely a little chilly to spend the night here and the power's been out for quite a few hours. So we're just going to we decided to pack it up and Earlier, not far away on Beaver Street, firefighters responded to a large limb that brought down this power line. Traffic shut down on Beaver Street from Grant Street to Academy Avenue. Hours later, we saw Duquesne Light fixing the problem. Neighbors tell us the storm didn't last long, but it hit hard. Well, I live in a, in an, a large apartment building, and we normally don't hear anything. And tonight, it, was, it, it really did sound like a freight train rumbling through the area. And uh, our lights flickered. And so I decided, you know, I better, as soon as this thing lets up, I want to get out and take a look at what's going on. When you were driving home from work, mm -hmm. what did you expect to see when you got home? I didn't expect this, that's for sure. Yeah, Ken, a lot of people probably didn't expect that they would not be uh, or they'd be staying somewhere else tonight. Earlier, I saw a guy charging his cell phone inside of his car. A woman came up to us and said, do you guys have a flashlight? Uh, she needed some help and we gave her one uh, to borrow. So at this point, just the big question is, when is the power coming back on? So stay tuned. We'll send it back to you, Ken, in the studio. Okay, Jen, thanks.